and graphic extras. In this video I'm going to show you how to modify the colour of a shape. Now obviously you can modify the colour of shape, you just go over here, I've already created the shape, modify the colour here, but when the shape has become a smart object, how to modify the colour then? Well you can modify it and I'm just going to convert it to a shape, smart object, so convert to smart object, and there's a smart object. Of course I can just double click on that, modify the colours before, but if you don't want to do that, you think, ah, oh, go to image, adjustments, there's no options. Well, way around that, camera raw filter. It's found in the filter menu, just bring that up. It's not the quickest of filters, but it does eventually get around to bring it up. Okay, so I've now got that, and you can modify the temperature, so you can just see that just warming up or getting colder. You can tint it, make it greener, change exposure, vibrancy, I'm just going to drag that up. Also, you can modify, obviously, the red channel. I'm just, I'm just going to use the tone curve here. Make that redder. Tweak that. Also, various sharpening features, maybe not so useful for things like a, a shape, but uh, various grain. You can also add vignetting. So I'm just going to just drag that so you can actually make, you can see it actually just go darker around the edges of this design. Also, one good thing about this tool is that you can actually do localized edits as well. And here's the adjustment brush. You can actually use this brush to apply various color effects as well as temperature exposure to localized parts, as well as using the graduated filter or radial filter. You can actually just apply radial changes as well. So it's a great little filter and certainly one that you should really look at for modifying shapes as well as images very useful. Anyway, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.